Hi everyone, we are here for the February 2024 energy update already. In fact, I really was thinking I had another week and suddenly realized I need to get this done. So anyway, um, this will be published obviously before February 1st, but right now um, I'm filming this on the day of the full moon um, for January. So this is Thursday. January 25th, and so we have the energy of the full moon coming in, but we've also had, some of you may have noticed this, some massive solar flares. As we have said previously, this is going to be a big year of solar flare activity, sun activity. Remember some of the past videos we've talked about this. This has been brought in, how the sun, and I think they even had a poem one time about, you know, looking to the sun. Anyway, point is, we can expect this to continue. I'm sure some of you have felt, have felt a little off or fatigued. Our bodies uh, actually, as you probably well know, are impacted by this energy that's coming in. The planet's impacted. It's all a positive thing, but sometimes it doesn't always feel like that with our human bodies that need to adjust to this energy. So just know we have a lot of activity going on right now. And, um, you know, I always like to say, kind of track how you feel. I like to understand how I feel during the new moons, the full moons, solar flares. I actually keep, I don't want to say a journal, it's like a little calendar of events that occur. And then I start understanding the patterns. It really helps us to see how we react individually to the things going on. And it will really help support you in your awakening and ascension journey because you're going to start to understand, oh, okay, when these events occur, this is kind of my pattern. So establishing your pattern helps you maneuver through, I'll just say kind of the energetic ups and downs as you know that, oh, okay, this is what's happening. And then of course, checking in to see what's going on out there, right? So anyway, that's what we've got going on presently as we're moving into February. I've already gotten a few uh, pieces of information that we're gonna take off on today. And then we're gonna talk about the collective as well. Um, they really wanna take me there, hmm, I wonder, We'll see if it continues to be important um, for us to talk about that. But let's just talk now about our journey in general. Uh, remember, this is a collective reading. However, it's very impactful and very focused on those of us who are, I'll just say, what we call light workers, front runner, runners, those who are awakening and know it um, consciously. It doesn't mean the work's not important. The others are doing that aren't consciously aware that they're going through this journey. It is. It's just that there is power in knowing that we are going through this journey and being able to work with the energies that are presented to us. Okay, so what I've got here, I've got some words that they gave me and I've got a note over here to the side. The first thing they brought into me literally just before I started this was the word separation. And I went, what? Because, you know, we're not moving into separation. What? But we are and we aren't. Okay, we're still one energy as a collective of humankind. But this pulling apart that we've talked about for probably a few years, um, you know, how the cell divides. But this pulling apart has to happen before we can come back together again. This is the same idea of how we've talked about in totality of how uh, we expand out as a collective, uh, the universe, the cosmos, we expand out and then we're going to collapse back in into zero point. We're not going to go into all of that. But the point, <laughs> the point, and I think we've got a few videos on that with Jennifer and me. But what we do is we're expanding back out, all right? But we're, we're separating, in a sense, still one, separating out old ways. I'm just going to call it that, okay? The, the old strife, fight, all of that, uh, the way we're constructed to operate in humankind and our new ways, our new earth, okay? Which is where we're headed. So what's happening is the separation is getting greater. That may seem obvious to you, but remember, this is a journey. This is a process. It's not everything changes immediately in the next month at all from what we present. This is a process building on top of the previous month's energies, if that makes sense. So we talked a lot about flow. This was the month of like experiencing flow in our journey in January. Well, January has been kind of rough. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people felt that way. I certainly have. Um, however, there have been these moments of flow that I think you're going to be able to recognize in your journey. And remember, it's not just all one day, like I said, all of a sudden, oh, I feel flowy and I'm like that all the time now. No. Remember, we talked about lumps and bumps and still traveling our journey. But what we're doing is we're up leveling, okay? And we are now starting to experience that flow. But at the same time, what we're, we're moving into 
is this continued separation, all right? Separation, and remember, it's not real if we can look at it from a collective idea of coming from the oneness, but we are separating out in our way of how we are moving forward. Okay, so for us, what's starting to happen, um, what I'm very much getting for February is this idea of creating more flow, but by the separating out of, because what you're doing, okay, what we're doing as this collective of light workers paving the way, we are apart from, is what they just said. We are apart from, but it doesn't mean we're not part of the collective. It means we're cutting the cord, okay, of the old ways. We are very much making big decisions now, okay, of those things that we still know we're hanging on to, of choices we've been making that, um, that really are holding us back. And so this flow is opening up. Okay, they just showed an ice dam, like a river dam, like melting starting. There's also a water theme we're, we've still got, and we're going to talk about that, I think. So they're showing an ice dam breaking up and flow starting. Because you still have the ice that you got to watch, right, in an ice dam. But they're showing this flow starting, and it's pretty rapid is what I'm getting. This is interesting, but we've got the ice all around us. But we're creating flow from the separation because you're apart from. And I'm not, this is not like a literal, well, how do I want to say this? It's an energetic situation that's going to show up in your day to day in the sense of parting ways with things that you've been holding on to, okay? The old ways is what I'm getting. All these things, the old ways, the cutting the cord, they keep talking about cutting the cord cutting the cord. Things may start to show up as you start to flow more with the day-to-day -day and how the universe works and you're reaching that, I'll just say frequency, vibration more often. So here's the universe, right? Wanting to work with you. You're flowing here. As we've said before, we start doing this. Now sometimes we drop back down, sometimes we rise up, sometimes we bend, and we're like this, okay? Just know that's how this works. It's a process that unfolds over time. But what I'm getting is you're cutting the cord, we're cutting the cord, we're cutting the cord, really cutting the cord, particularly in 2024. So here's what I'm getting. <laughs> now politics is coming in. Okay, they just said cutting the cord of things you don't need to pay attention to. Okay, it's also of things in our journey, but it's also of things that want to try to get our, our attention from the old ways. Watch this, okay? In the United States, we have an election coming up. You gotta be aware of this. Like cutting cords from the old ways. I keep getting, don't pay attention, don't pay attention. Cutting the cords, cutting the cords. That doesn't mean we don't look on occasion and see things. It's about the drowning in that and making it our, our full um, uh, uh, energy that we live in, right? And I remember those old, how do you wanna say, energies that yes, they're still part of the collective that we live in. They're pretty dense and they have a real opportunity to pull you in. Okay, particularly if you were, I don't know, involved in politics previously and you still kind of have an interest, doesn't mean you can't look, but it's also at the same time, you know that that doesn't feel right for you. I'm not saying that's the way for everybody. I'm just using this as a one example, okay, of a potential for people, right? And we're going to have a lot of swirl of energy that it's, they're showing a vortex that wants to pull us in. So this is a huge year of which way do you go? Wow. Wow. Okay, creative expansion 2.0 is 2024. We break down, remember this, this is gonna be over the next few years, we break down and we're starting to flow into our creative expansion. But what I'm also getting is this, almost like a tornado this year of energy, swirling in to try to, this is kind of like the abyss that I showed a couple months ago, I think it was, and we are the light workers holding everyone fast. You know, remember that visual that I gave you of like kind of Hercules? I don't know who it was. <laughs> anyway, Hercules like pulling, you know, we're pulling like this to keep people from falling into the abyss over there. So this is actually kind of keeping yourself from falling into the abyss. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call that I needed to take. So here we are in the middle of a channel. Okay, so we're going to get back into the politics, get back into the flow of this conversation. So, um, Okay, let's just connect back in. This kind of shows you how, how it works for me, right? Like I can get interrupted in the 3D world and then I'll flow back in, but it might take a minute. So let's just do that. All right, so 
So they're talking about the swirl of the energy. Okay, this is the vortex that they were showing. All right, so the vortex, oh man. Okay, this is interesting. We're gonna have to be aware. They're kind of talking about the year, but this it's, it's like starting, this February thing is starting. The, the idea of what I'll just say is flow. So, so hang here with me for a minute. So we're in this flow. We're gonna see more flow in our lives, which basically means that we're moving with grace lots of times during our day of how things just work. They just, things just are clicking into place more easily. That's what flow is. Things just seem to be um, um, getting set up for us. Doesn't mean we don't have stuff to deal with. I want you to be aware of that. But as we reach that kind of flow and we keep um, what they're showing is like m m parting the waves. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like. Like something shows up and we're like, eh, okay, we'll deal with that and we get rid of that. And then we just flow. We start flowing. This is how we open up a cons more of a consistent flow. But at the same time, we're separating out from, okay, the things that want to engulf us in 2024. Does that make sense? So what we're doing is we're seeing this, I'm seeing this vortex of energy that wants to pull us in. This is really interesting. It's a big energy vortex pulling us in. But what I'm also getting is the cosmos, the sun, the solar flares, all of this is actually up leveling us. It's almost like it's working as a counterbalance. They just said the word counterbalance to what's happening here in the density in 3D. Now remember, we're always in 3D materially. Like our bodies have to be in the 3D world to be able to manifest and create this human life. It's just what frequency are we at? right? What dimension are we living in the, I'll call, I shouldn't say 3D world, but in on the earth, right? Materially. Anyway, all the dimensions are here is what I will say. We're not going to get into all that here right now. But point is, is very much getting this idea of being very aware this year of where you could get Okay, they just said tied down at the ankles, like they're showing a ball and chain. They're giving a lot of metaphors like that. Like work that wouldn't help allow you to move forward. Are you getting stuck in the drama? Are you getting stuck in all the things that are very insidious? Social media, great example, right? It depends on how you're using it. But anyway, I could go on and on. We know a bunch of examples, but you need to be aware of your own, right? It could be relationships. It could be whatever it is. But what I keep getting is this idea of separating out further um, cutting the cord, cutting the cord, cutting the cord um, of the old ways, uh, the old ways that don't allow you to create flow in your journey, okay, and to create down the road. So they're, it's it's like Phoenix out of the ashes, but the Phoenix hasn't flown yet, kind of thing. And then remember, this is in general for this our populace. Some of us are flying like crazy right now, right? Others are just starting the journey. So I'm talking about all of us. We're all at different stages. But where, we, where we've gotten to is this idea of um, we could be pulled down again. They keep showing the phoenix like, the, like, okay, they're showing the phoenix flying. They're giving a bunch of metaphors. Like a rope going around its leg and getting pulled back down. Okay, so that there's potential for that happening. It doesn't mean you won't fly again. But the point here is, is it all can, also can suck you into the vortex. I very much am getting this vibe of earthly, worldly situations happening, um, getting stuck in the drama of that. And the um, I just got the word sorrow. We have to be aware of that. Okay, we have to be aware of that. It doesn't mean we're an ostrich sticking our head in the sand. It doesn't mean you're a Pollyanna. That's not it. it doesn't mean you're not a caring, kind individual. It means you understand this journey and it's about energy and where you put your focus and that you're helping the collective by doing this for yourself, right? And continuing to um, grow in your journey. We're also gonna, well, I'm gonna, I won't tell you about this video. It's kind of tied to this. Anyway, point is let's stick with, let's stick with this topic for February. So there's a lot going on here. It's like February setting the stage for this heightened expansion of energy moving forward that has the potential, and I think this is more of an awareness month, like feeling how this feels as you get into kind of this idea of flow, but also when you get into these being pulled down like the phoenix with the rope tied on his foot, getting pulled back down, or any number of metaphors. Being aware of what those situations are in your journey that keep you from moving into your creative expansion 
and starting to really experience flow in your day today. This feels a little complex for February. It feels like a little bit of a mishmash. It's taking the flow that we're starting to generate this year, but it's also mixing it with, oh, they just said muddy waters. Water's a theme again. We're going to talk about that. Muddy waters. Because you may get muddied, right? The clear stream might get muddied. You might not be able to see. Okay, they just said clear the dust from your eyes. What have you been blind to? Yeah, so remember, this is a continuous effort of clearing out, God, just the gunk from eons past, right? Many past lives, this current lifetime, where we're at now, this idea. And remember, we're, I keep always will tell you, we're magnetic. Everything we do affects the collective. Everything we do in our inner journey, the values we live, how we live from our, our, our heart space, like the coherency between our, our mind and our heart and how we live from our values and identify that when we don't all of this this whole inner journey right and knowing that we're here to live from our heart space our intuitive heart space right and we have that connection between mind heart it's not separate anymore and then we're just being led by the mind this shifts and changes everyone as we change ourselves so in February, what I would say for you individually, however this plays out for you, remember it's all different for everyone depending on where they're at in the journey, where you're at in your own individual life, where you're at in your awareness. But we're getting this idea of flow, kind of muddy waters, flow. But then the vortex of like all that's happening, going to happen in 2024. It's a big, big energetic year. And remember, it's Creative Expansion 2.0 is a theme, but that's a breaking down. We're getting a bigger breaking down this year. But it's, gosh, this is such a huge deal. Our, I, I myself am no longer involved in politics, but they are showing me the presidential election and the energy around that. And they're showing spitting out. <laughs> the spitting out. Like there's other like, it's almost like it's such a big ball of energy that it's like, <laughs> it creates its own energy, if that makes sense, in other areas. Be aware of that okay um so i think what we're going to do here is uh, let's see if there's anything else i think i'm going to look at the year since they brought us that and then i, I want to get to like more of a co collective kind of on the ground things that we might be seeing um happening i still get this some time ago we got this idea that april felt big and I don't know what that still means, but it, they keep showing like they're talking about peak times in April. I don't know if that's the sun. I don't know what, but okay, hold on. Let's just see if we can get anything else. They just said jumping off point peak times. Okay, peak, cliff, jumping off. Something's there. Okay, peak times. Soaring begins. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. This is like either we're going to fly or we're going to crash to the ground. It, but it's not. <laughs> it's 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 not as a collective though. This is like like kind of the. I don't know how to explain this one at all. It feels like April is this time to soar or to have our wings clipped. I don't know what that means actually literally, but I do see an event. Events, 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 events occurring in humankind and in, in, moving into April. It's like an acceleration point is what we're doing. And we're actually getting ready for liftoff is what I'm getting. Okay, this is this flow idea. We're getting ready to lift off. Okay, now this is going to get trippy because they're talking about getting ready to leave. Like, in other words, like, okay, let's get down the runway before they get us kind of thing. Like, let's get lift off. Let's go kind of idea. But this isn't a scary, fearful thing. It's more of like catching the wave, catching that flow of energy that's being offered to us, and then flying through into April. We're lifting off in April. Don't ask me what that means. We're just we're going to find out. Lifting off sometime in April. We may see an actual like events that we might connect to, but it feels I don't know the answer to that. And remember, whenever I see anything that's energetic. <sighs> And I, I mentioned a time frame or a month. It's very likely it's not visible to us and it will show up down the road because everything that 
I, I, I never really know. Um, everything takes time, okay, to manifest in this 3D world, in our world, in our material world, okay? So don't, like, go put a pin on April and say, that's going to happen then. I don't know. But I do get the sense that we're heading toward this time of liftoff as a collective, as a collective, but of light workers that are pulling the others along. Okay, they just said, they just showed me a picture, they're giving a lot of metaphors today, of us lifting off as an airplane, okay, and we're getting, but we've got a glider. We're pulling a glider, and that's the rest of the collective. They don't have a motor. We're pulling the glider. We're lifting off in time. This is really bizarre. We're lifting off, we're the plane with the engine, and we got the glider, we're pulling, and we're up in the air. We're lifting off, but we have the glider. It's them. It's the rest of the collective. It shows you the power we have. We're lifting off. Um, but the glider does not have an engine, as we know gliders don't, right? And that is what they're showing me. Okay, so we could talk about the cord. They're like They said you can't untie yourself from them. And we keep talking about cutting the cord, but we're talking about cutting the cord of old ways, not other people. Please understand that. This is not about you going and shunning the rest of the world. <laughs> this is about us being, honestly, they give me the metaphor of Jesus or Yeshua, how he was able to work with anyone, right? Ultimately, it doesn't mean he didn't get upset at times, but um, he was able to mix with everyone. I mean, think about it. I am not tremendously familiar with the stories. I have enough, just because I grew up as a Christian, um, in the congregational church and I know enough of the stories but I do know they always give me that metaphor of him being able to still work with everyone now that's a practiced effort I will say because you can feel the vibrational difference but eventually what we do they're showing this with the plane and the glider the rest of the collective we're actually still connected okay we're still connected um, with that tether they keep showing tether Wow Interesting. Okay, so we'll see how that pans out. But there is something coming up, coming, and it's not, it, 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 I don't know if it feels like it's tied to the election at all, but there's something it feels like. April keeps, I keep saying this. So I guess I've said enough of that. Um, so let's just talk about on the ground. Um, I guess we could talk a little bit about what you can do. Well, we kind of did talk about what you can do to take them, you know, to benefit from, February. Okay, let's just do that first, and then we'll talk about anything that's showing up in the collective. Like, might be literal, right? So, what you can do to benefit. Okay, they always are going. They're always going to tell you this: show up, show up your practices, show up your foundation. You know, keep doing the things like we talked about, clearing your, you know, your your self care practices. I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, but also being very self aware, really starting to dig deep into how you're living your life and what that means for you moving forward. And are you living from your truest self, your values, the things, are you living an integrous life for yourself? They're really focused on that, okay? I mean, that is the journey, right, ultimately. Um, heart, mind, coherence, uh, living from the highest part of ourselves. <sighs> wow, there's a lot of energy around this. February is a big deal um, in that sense. So, okay, so, I think we probably exhausted that um, topic for now, but I do want to talk a about what we're going to see potentially on the ground. Uh, last month, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, we brought through this idea of civil unrest or civil activism or civil, like a, they've had enough. C oh, I think it was civilian unrest. I don't remember exactly. Well, whew, uh, that actually happened afterwards. Um, turns out, actually, I had a subscriber mention this to me, the German farmers is a big deal. I don't know where they're at with that now because, like I said, I don't necessarily look at the news and I didn't look at it previously to see where they're at. But I am definitely getting more of this, okay? And I just heard the word pockets in pockets. We're going to see, like, it feels um, very, oh, I just heard civil disobedience in pockets. So... <clears throat> Oh, I just heard global unrest. Wow. Okay, we're leading to that is what we're leading to. It's about taking back our power as individual citizens, groups. Um, but it's... 
we're not going to talk about how to do that. We're just going to say it's going to happen. Okay, uh, we're just going to talk about that. I keep getting global. I keep writing global unrest. Um, but we're, but here's the thing. <clears throat> what I keep getting. Well, what we've always said with this journey is this is a grassroots effort. Well, what I'm getting with this, and when I say grassroots effort, it's from the common human. The common human coming together through the awakening journey, et cetera, et cetera, we're the ones making the shift and change. It's not a top-down approach. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't light workers in the top. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying in general, this is a grassroots effort, and it's bubbling up, okay? But what they're showing here is what's going to start to happen. I think we're going to see another populace of unrest like taking back their power is what I just heard, like having a voice, but it's in, they keep saying pocket. So our power is really in, how do I want to say this? <clears throat> like relationships, like who will we relate to, right? Like uh, farmers the, in Germany are, you know, they're protesting how they're being treated. They're, and I think it's in the laws. I can't speak to this, but anyway, you can look this up yourself. But the point is, is this is a, it's a pocket of people, right? And getting like specialized groups, like this is, and, and it's like knocking down little places. Because what I still get to this day is this is not like a whole house, a pop, apocalyptic scene of civil disobedience, unrest, whatever you want to call it. This is happening locally, more locally. Now we may have bigger pockets, yes, that will grow from that. I keep seeing like these little bubbles, okay? So we're going to have more of this because it's time for people to stand up. Oh, I just heard to power, to power players, to patriarchy. That's what they're talking about, all the Ps. Patriarchy, very, this whole idea and that they've had enough kind of thing. And we're not gonna talk about how it's done. It's just that it's going to happen, okay, is what I'm getting. We're gonna have more of this. I also get lots of water. Like we've been talking about water events. I think, again, I only know what's happening kind of in the Midwest. We've had so much snow this year. We're still not at our um, totals, but I keep getting water events. Like this is a big deal. The water events that we're having, going to have and are having, because I think we're having them now in many places, we're going to have some just water is a theme and it's been a theme for a while. It's either through the idea of there is no water, drought, or there's too much water. I'm getting a lot of too much water starting now, like now, this year, for some reason, I feel like there's, and I don't know why this is important to even tell you guys this in an energy update, but they give us collective information because it is about Mother Earth too and how she's actually, you know, healing herself and actually, they're actually not, they don't talk like that. That was my, the healing yourself was my word. She, they said, she, <laughs> she actually knows what she's doing, like how to handle this. Like this healing is actually more of a revolution for her, I'll just say. Um, so they never really like when we talk about healing Mother Earth because she's so powerful. And anyway, that's just kind of a funny aside, right? So we're getting going to have a lot of water events. I feel like a lot of flooding between now and spring, end of spring. Now, remember, I'm talking Northern Hemisphere spring because we're coming out of winter, hopefully here in another month, hopefully. And into our spring, so I'm getting a lot of flooding, a lot of water events, a lot of water, a lot of water through, it feels like through May, like deluges, de deluges, how do you say that? <laughs> deluges, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, we're going to see the continued vortex. Uh, here's the thing, the election here in the United States, you know, there's just the energy of that affects the rest of the world, it's collective. Um, so yeah, there we are. Um, just know that that's going to swirl around us like crazy. Okay. And you know, it's really hard to avoid because I mean, you know, go pick up your mail and you're getting a flyer from some candidate. <laughs> I just look at it, go recycle it. But anyway, um, yeah. So what I would say to you, February looks, um, this is all growth. This is all part of our expansion. This is where we're meant to be everyone. Just know that. Yes, it's going to look bleak at times, but it's all part of this uh, growth into into who we're meant to be as individuals and as a collective, which is essentially our lives are a microcosm of what's happening in the collective. We know it. We've all had stuff. We all 
have had things happen since we took the pill, <laughs> meaning the red pill or blue pill, right? We took the pill and now we can't not see. So anyway, needless to say, um, focus on what you can do to continue to look at where your cords need to be cut in that sense, uh, metaphorically speak, well, not metaphorically speaking, but at the same time, um, really parting with old ways that, that um, we know are rooted in uh, things that don't feel good to us any longer that are connected into, and you can just feel it because it's heavy energy, into the old uh, belief systems, patriarchy, all of that. There's just, you're going to feel it, and you're going to know it, and you're also going to know it in your relationships and, and in work, personal relationships. You're already feeling it. This isn't new. Remember, this is a continuous process. So it's not like this is all brand new information and big time stuff's going to happen in February. It's a continuous process. And you're going to be continuing to move into flow and feeling greater uh, greater times of expansiveness. And as you're continuing to, uh, you know, really kind of clean up our act, right? With how we treat ourselves, with how we live our lives, and how we then ultimately shine our light to affect the rest of the collective. So with that, I never introduced myself. So I have a tendency not to do that. But anyway, needless to say, for those of you who haven't seen my videos before, I'm Carolyn Zeiser. I'm a channel, a distance energy healer, and a spiritual awakening mentor. So if you are interested in taking a look at my services, check out purplerainhealing.com for all of my services. I would love to work with you. I also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring for spiritual awakening and your life journey and the ascension journey. That's probably about 90% of what I do. I work with a lot of you already, and it's a wonderful opportunity to accelerate your journey forward and really start to understand your larger soul journey, past, present, future, the spiritual understanding of what's happening to you now in this incarnation, and also assist you forward in your spiritual awakening journey. All right, everybody, with that, I will see you in the next video. And as always, I appreciate your commentary. I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to reach out. Thank you so much for joining me.